Hey guys, XGPX Travel here, and welcome to another Game Pass video. And this is another Spec Ops guide. It's been a long time since we put one of these up, but we did film them all at once. And well, I might as well treat you guys to this. How about that? Okay, so me and XGPX are so once again teaming up, and this time to take on suspension on veteran. And uh, let's see how we go. Okay, here we are. So, you're going to want to pick up your guns at the start here, uh, I mean, this is all personal preference, I love the TAR-21, so I keep that, so I take that, and I think, I don't know what my second weapon, did I keep the scar? Okay, right, now you both want to get in position on either side, and then sprint, and you'll trigger the thing. Now you want to throw your flashbangs as the roping in, and hopefully, as you get off the rope, they'll be stunned, and you can just shoot down the line. Uh, Adam didn't pull this off too smoothly. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go help him. Use your flashbangs are a godsend on this. So I've already used up a lot of my flashbangs, but um, they did probably save us there. Pick off the guys, use the cars as cover. There goes my last flashbang. Pick off that guy, pick off that guy. Boom, boom. Very simple. Take your time, pick off the enemies. And I move forward here, and I'm on the opposite side. Head past the tanker and we can't move very fast because the bridge is tilting. Oh, God, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah. There we go. We are back to running again. So just run straight ahead. Now here, this is a very tricky part up here, so be careful. You're going to want to watch helicopter that will appear at your side, so then it starts on the right hand side. Uh, I can grab an RPG, but not to take out the ha- Well, I use- uh, Okay, I try to take out the whole thing there. Um, if you can take it out, great. If not, uh, don't worry too much. We survived for ages, even with a round. We're using the RPGs to take out a lot of these guys. And <laughs> that's what I was calling. There's a grenade, and I just get nearly blown up. I got stuck on something. And I try another shot of the helicopter, which doesn't hit its target. Actually, I think I- Oh no, the helicopter's there. dead. The helicopters will come in and bring in some more uh, more troops. If you can take those down, all the better, but if not, no, then he's gonna. He's not gonna matter too much. Okay, again, trying to hit that thing which keeps moving in and out and down, and I can see on my radar a lot of red dots are converging on his position. So, a few RPGs clearing them out. Switch back to my TAR 21, pick off the stragglers. The helicopter is trying to kill me. Oh my god. Revive out of now. Okay, Adam's back up. And then, oh, the helicopter is in me. And I have to just spray from randomly because that's my instinct on this game. Because I'm getting shot, just spray, I'll hit the guy who's shooting you. And this case, the helicopter is not usual. Keep picking them off. Remember, you just want you to get rid of them all. And sort of, really. This helicopter does continue to give us some trouble because we're only walking not to have taken it down earlier. Um, it's quite hard to shoot down. So, but if you really, if you. If you know in, in yourself, you're confident that you can take it down, then pr make that a priority. Uh, for us, we, we thought the rockets would be better spent on taking out the ground forces. But, as you can see, the helicopter... Yeah, so that thing... Yeah, will become a bit of a nuisance, and then I just shoot it with my pistol, which unfortunately doesn't do an awful lot. Then Adam revives me. You continue picking up these, and it, uh, it's surprising how many there are. Keep picking up these, no problem. And then our favorite helicopter again. Boop! I'm like, <sighs> Adam comes and revives me. And that is the most lucky part of this thing. If that helicopter shot Adam instead, game, but it tends to shoot me because it's stupid. And keep killing, keep killing, keep killing. <laughs> it's got a bit overwhelmed there. Adam ran off. Thanks for the support there. They can revive me while I pick them off with my pistol, which I love doing. And uh, I'm leaving off reload this. And Adam actually takes out the helicopter. We did leave it rather late. And uh, ooh, an explosion. Oh, lots of chain of explosions there. And now it looks a lot clearer, so I'm going to start to move. There was a sniper that gave us some trouble. I'm not sure if it's on this exact recording. Oh, oh god. And they are hiding out. Really careful there. Not much I can do here on the floor. Up I get. Bat! Yes, the, there is a sniper over there. You see the muzzle there. And uh, I'm just trying to get a grenade to hit it. And I don't think I need to succeed at that. Another grenade comes right back to me. And I uh, run back into here. Reload. Let's 
let's see if I can get the shots off. I'm with the RPG, it doesn't hit anything, but I pick up the guy, pick up another one, and then pick up the third there. And then there's, oh, there's another one to my right, and sniper, I think it is. Uh, I've just got a guy, oh no, he's there. Pick him up as well. Adam just seems to be here. <laughs> I seem to do all the killing, and it's just there, and things go bad. Another one, pick him off. Adam's using his flashbangs now. There's another one I picked off. And really, it is just a process of picking them off from a long range. Again, another one goes down. And now we're pretty much at the finish. There's a the last couple of guys. Kill them both and then sprint to the finish. Adam's trying to kill me by shooting that car. And uh, Adam doesn't seem to realise that once you have what, that everything's dead and it's safe, despite the fact that I keep telling him, and I am here. And eventually, hey, there he is, eventually. So that was suspension on veteran.